Hello everyone, welcome to experiment number 14 in lab 2, which is a synthetic material lab. Our title for today will be investigation of the mode of deformation in a cantilever beam with concentrated load. The objective of today's experiment is to determine the deflection of the beam at specific point in which we apply the external force. Example, if we, ha if we have this cantilever beam and we apply some external force P at this point, we know that there will be some deflection at the beam depending on the point that you want to study. So this is the bending moment diagrams and this is the shearing force diagram for the same cantilever beam. In general, we know that the value of stress is the amount of the bending moment at each point divided by the second moment of inertia IZ and the value of Y which is the distance from the center line of the beam. Good. So for bending moment itself, the moment is force multiplied by distance, which is L minus C. L minus C will be, this is the total L, and this is, for example, the amount C. If you are, if you are studying any point, so L minus X will be the value of the distance that you need to multiply with the force in order to find the, um, the bending moment. So, for example, we will put in instead of C, we will have P L minus X as the bending moment in our equations. I is the second moment of inertia, which is B H cubed by 12, and F is the reflection value. So, the reflection will be the force L cubed 3 EI. So, this is our final result that we need to calculate, which is the deformation or deflection. The test piece or the specimen number 6, this is the cantilever beam with 6 valleys of sensors, readings. So S1, S2 and S3, they are measured at the top surface of the beam. Sensor 4, 5 and 6, they are measured at, at the edges of the beam. Sensor number 3 is mounted at the center line of the cantilever beam itself while sensor number 1 and 2 they are mounted at the edges so distance will be h over 2 or width over 2 for the beam. This table shows the dimensions and characteristics of the beam for length, height, width, modulus of elasticity and sensor coefficients and everything. Good. So if you want to calculate the values of hysteresis for theoretical calculations, First, we know that the value of second moment of inertia is B H cube over 12. And then we have different values of hysteresis depending on the position. So for example, if you want to start with sigma 3, stress number 3, we can see that clearly this distance is zero. Why is that? Because stress number 3 is mounted on the center line so that there is no distance Y in this axis. So sensor number 3 is 0, while if you want to calculate for sigma 4, you have a distance of minus h over 2. So this is sensor number 4, distance h minus 2, uh, sorry, h over 2, which is width. And same thing for this, for sensor number 5, it's h positive h over 2. So sensor number 4 and 5, you have some values with negative and some values with, with positive h over 2 and same thing for other positions of the sensors so from stresses we can find the strains the strains are sigma over modulus of elasticity and at the end we need to find the deflection f is related to the value of force at position number 4 gravity l cube the length of the beam multiplied by 12 3 e modulus of elasticity and width and thickness square thickness cube for experimentally obtained data from the sensors values from the deformations multiplied by the sensors coefficients we can find the strains at all positions e3 e4 epsilon 3 epsilon 4 epsilon 5 and epsilon 6 and then we can find the values of stresses stress is modulus of elasticity multiplied by the strain 
and this way we will have all our, our values of stresses. Good, so preparations and conducting the experiment. We need to install the specimen number 6 into the fixed support 5. So this is the cantilever beam number 6 at support number 5. Step number 2, we need to attach the movable, movable cartridge number 16 on the free end of the specimen. So this is the movable cartridge. The cartridge will be used to install the force application 19. So we will hang the force application on the cartridge. Step number 4, attach the tribal 13. So this is the tribal 13 into the mounting hole number 7. So we fix this bar or this shaft at hole number 7 using the 10 millimeter bolts and then place the force indicator in the vertical position over the mobile cartridge. So this is what? This is the force indicator and then we will fix it to the cartridge and at the end we will be able to measure the deflections by this sensor. Lastly, attach the connector of specimen number 6 in this place and attach it to the computer and also <coughs> attach the connector of this step attach the <coughs> and also attach the connector of the setup for force application these wires to the computer and now let's go and conduct our experiment Good, so let us start our experiment so step number one will be installing the specimen number six into fixed support number five. This is a specimen number six, a cantilever beam, and this is support number five. So I'll be fixing this specimen into the fixed support number five. Step number one. Step number two, we need to attach the movable cartridge number 16, this element. So I will be fixing this element in here. To some specific distance this will be the the hinge for our load at this point number three hang the setup of force application number one into the mobile cartridge number 16 so this is our force application i will hang it to the cartridge like this and here so the objective of this element is that if i apply some force for example 1 kg this w or weight the, because of gravity it will, it will make some force applied to the cantilever beam so this is the objective and as you know we have a measurement for the force so anytime i, I put some force at, it's connected to this device so the computer will recognize the element of the force so now for step number four let's attach the tripod number 13 this element tripod number 13 into hole number seven so if I count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 6, 7, sorry, this one will be attached here. Good. And this one, it will come to now. The next step will be attach the connector of this specimen number 6 to the matching connector from the NI thermal block so this is the connection for the specimen with the NI software which will be connected like this in here to have the sensors connected for uh, strains and elong elongations and last thing if you want to measure the displacement so imagine that I have one applied weight or two kilogram of weight how to measure the deflection of the beam i have this um, sensor it will be connected to this device and then i need to have this element so this element should be attached initially to this point if if we have any displacement this spring will be moving to measure the value of elongation or deflection and it's, it will be connected to the computer so let's fix this so this is three degree of rhythm system i have one rotation and second rotation and i have z motion so in terms of 
z displacement i have it to this point so now i can fix it in terms of rotation i think it's good this way and then i can fix the bolt to this point zero good. so at any time at any time if i apply one force the deflection will be measured through this, this device and sent to the computer so let's go now and perform the experiment so for conducting the experiment assemble this machine as described above we already have our machine ready for the experiment run the software strength of material go to desktop so this is strength of material manual or software Experiment number 14 investigation of mode of deformation in a cantilever beam with concentrated load double click So this tab as usual for specimen Parameters coefficient of sensors distance between the loading point and the support height width and modulus of elasticity of the sample This is the table of increment and readings and finally for results and graphs so if you want to go and perform the experiment let's go back to the manual yes the first step will be click the start button so we should start the software and now apply one kg weight one kilogram force or one kilogram weight and click measure and then we should repeat this each time six times with adding one kg one kilogram each time so if I go to the first one, you see that we have one kilogram force in here. So I click measure and this will be the readings available for us. Two kilograms measure. Three kilograms measure. And lastly, total of four kilograms and also measure yes so th this will be our tables of readings for from sensor 1 sensor 2 sensor 3 4 and 5 and 6 all sensors strains and this will be our results for experimental and theoretical and also deviations this graph in here shows the deflection the red line and the blue line between uh, stress number five versus the strain for sensor number five for theoretical and experimental calculations this graph shows the specimen and diagrams for stresses you see that we are we connected sensor number one two three four five six so sensor number four five and six they are in the small surface area sensor number one two three is in the wide surface of the beam and this will be our end of the experiment if i want to save the results i need to go to save and the excel file will be generated in my computer at that file yes so this will be our readings not this sorry and this will be our readings investigation of mode of deformation in a cantilever beam these are the specifications these are the readings i need to just double click in here to see the full figure and the full figure but anyway the values are available in the table these equations for, ex for experimental readings from sensor 1 2 3 up to 6 and then the theoretical equations to find the values of stresses in this table we will fill the experimental and theoretical and compare with them to find the deviation percentage. So this is the end of our experiment and thank you very much.